Have you been vibe coding this way? Let me show you a better way using something I like calling design-driven prompts. Design-driven prompt development helps working with agentic chat so much easier. Using this style, you can easily roll back changes, roll forward changes, create checkpoints, and we already have a handy dandy reference guide at the end of it. It's easier than getting a cat to nap. In five easy steps, you too can be a design-driven prompter engineer. Er, prompt. Uh, uh, you get the idea. First, have the tool create a design document for you. We'll be using Amazon QCLI. Then tell the client exactly what sort of design document you want. So I really like cats. I want to make a website for my cat s'mores. So let's start here. Please create a design document for a pet website for my cat s'mores. Save it as a markdown file. Keep it basic. Now that I have a fantastic markdown design document file, I'm going to check it out for any issues or problems. Looks good to me. Now I'm going to add it to the context window. Let's have QCLI use this new design document to create a step-by-step -step implementation guide and save that as markdown. Okay, let's have it implemented step-by-step -step, or I can run all of them instead if I like. Wow, my cat's website is amazing. Look at the navigation here, the pictures. It looks really fun. So to recap, we created a design document and saved it as Markdown. We then created an implementation guide based on that design document. And then we used Amazon QCLI to implement the guide step by step. And if you want to build your own pets website, download Amazon QCLI, links down below.